Alright. Legionaries, here we go. We get ready to launch an all new Let's Play and an all new game that is actually just came out of early access not that long ago. I was going to say still in early access, but that's enshrouded. That's another treat I have coming later on this channel in the next week or so when I can get the content uploaded. Bear with me here, especially in the beginning, as I'm getting used to all the different softwares I'm running and editing and whatnot. A little bit of a learning curve here and there, but, you know, we'll get up to speed. And let's dive right into this game that I have been dying to get my hands on. I am so excited to finally be playing it. I'm not sure which one of these classes is which. I'm guessing that's a mage. That looks like kind of your thief or ranger class. Excuse me. I'd imagine that is maybe your paladin or just your champion fighter class. Maybe your witch class or, or druid. Your barbarian. Oh, that's the that may be the druid. And I've been dying to play with a druid in a game. And you get to end up using all of these mercenaries. I think there are up to there are 15, and you unlock them all, and you can end up playing with all of them. I have been really wanting to play a game where I am a druid. I generally go with kind of a paladin build or a fighter build, and I'm I'm trying to get outside of my zone of comfortability because it's a little it's more fun to experience the different aspects, especially with some of these new games. So, without further ado, I'm going to start this playthrough off, and this game off, with this guy here. I am assuming he's our druid class. We're going to find out. Primalist, Beastmaster, Shaman, Druid. Okay. Yep. Oh, I did see on a write-up that the shaman was fairly difficult. Okay, so you get to choose these later on. Okay. Primalist, a warrior from the north who has seen the horrors of war firsthand. The primalist seeks communion with the power of Atera, the power of nature itself. So these mastery skills, it says mastery class is chosen during the campaign. A warrior who takes command with the might of beasts, leading by example with strength and power. He charges forward the ferocity of his companions infusing his body. The heart of the wild beats within him, fury leading his way. Summon raptor, summon bear, summon saber tooth, summon frenzy totem, summon scorpion. And that was the Beastmaster. This is the Shaman. The world remembers winds that rage and tear down forests, avalanches that shatter mountainsides, lightning that cracks the sky open and demands awe. A living storm that uses nature's fury to destroy his enemies with the aid of sacred totems. Avalanche, earthquake, tornado, summon storm totem. Master Druid. Mastery class, we already read that though. A conduit for the long dormant power of a Terra. He bends the fury of nature to his will even as he takes the form of ferocious creatures. He is an avatar of the Earth's latent power. He tears Bastion against all that would threaten her. Were bear form. Transform into a bear. Ensnaring roots. Awesome. Summon Spriggan. Awesome. Spriggan form, awesome. Swarm blade form. It's gonna be more difficult playing with this class versus. I'm guessing this will probably be the easiest, quote unquote. I'm guessing. Oh, acolyte. Okay. Mage. Let's just see. Mage, sorcerer, spell blade, rune master. Acolyte, Necromancer, Lich, like a Lich Priest, Lich, and a Warlock. Oh man, I've been wanting to play the Necromancer build as well. Rogue, yep, the Rogue, E-Class, Blade Dancer, 
Marksman, Falconer. So you mean to tell me there are three different masteries under each mercenary? So you're technically looking at... Oh no, that would be the 15 characters. Three for each, five times three is 15, okay. But either way, that's really cool. Void Knight, Forge Guard, Paladin, Sen that's the Sentinel build. See, oh man. No, I believe if I'm not mistaken, we can have multiple play guys, multiple builds going at the same time. There's no limit. So, whoop, what was that? Those numbers that popped up. Anyone else see that? See those? Can't get it to do it again. Let's go with Primalist. Oh, okay. So for some reason it showed that. So the Primalist base class, Maelstorm, surrounds with a freezing surrounds you with a freezing maelstorm that deals cold damage over time to nearby enemies. Can be repeatedly can be cast repeatedly to create multiple maelstorms at once. Each maelstorm lasts seven seconds. Cold spell damage over time, area attunement. Summon Thorn Totem. Summons a totem that fires thorns at nearby enemies. You can have a maximum of two Thorn Totems by default. Press A to give your minions an attack command. Minion Totem Attunement. Minion Tags. Physical Spell. Swipe. A melee attack that hits all enemies in an area in front of you unaffected by weapon range. I think this is one of the weapons, uh, one of the attacks that I saw that is a bit difficult to kind of get comfortable with. Physical Melee Area Strength. War cry, unleash a mighty roar that knocks back en nearby enemies and stuns them for one and a half seconds. Rares and bosses are stunned for half as long, so three quarters of a second. Mana cost only four, cooldown 10 seconds, area attunement. Summon storm crows. Summon storm crows up to your companion limit. The storm crow casts spells from a distance. When its health drops to zero, it is down, and you can stand near it to revive it. The storm crow counts as a companion. You can have a maximum of two companions at once by default. Press A to give your minions an attack command. Scaling tags, minion, companion, attunement, strength. Minion tags, lightning spell. Serpent strike requires a spear, a melee attack, 140% poison chance. Poisons inflicted by serpent strike last 40% longer. This was the other one that I saw uh, another content creator say this was a bit difficult uh, to get used to. Physical, poison, and melee strength and dexterity. And those are the scaling tags. Oops, I think I said something else. But anywho, what should we name our guy, our character here? I'm thinking Theodoric. What about Theodoric the Great? No, the Wise. Ah, I can't. And feel free to leave a comment in uh, the comment section with any names that you think would be cool for upcoming characters or and if you have a specific kind of character in mind for that name, please feel free to leave that comment. Any tactics, tips, or suggestions are greatly appreciated. Please keep them coming. And the only thing that I ask is that we keep all the hate speech to ourselves and that we don't attack or belittle or insult anyone else. We only build people up on this channel as our goal is to create a, an all-inclusive environment on this channel. Now, without further ado, challenges. I'm not sure what these are. Without further ado, oh, here we go. Well, pause. Solo account found. This character will not be able to party with nor obtain items found by other players, but shares the same stash and materials with your other solo account found characters within the same game mode and cycle. Solo character found. This character will not be able to party with or obtain, okay, obtain items by other found by other players. This includes items you find on other solo character found characters even if they share the same game mode and cycle let's just do a normal game mode I believe that if you start on hardcore and you die you go down to normal that may be enshrouded I'm thinking of 
Oh, cool. So the normal realm is cycles offer a fresh start in a new environment. Leaderboards are reset. Legacy legacy characters maintain access to all of your previous characters and their stashes. No leaderboards. Cycle characters are moved to the legacy realm when the cycle ends. Cycles typically last around four, three to four months. How cool is this? All right. Let's do it, the Otterick. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror, myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert. Largon of the sea. Rye of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Ikera away. Without her, there was conflict. Then wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rye's gaze were the Keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected, a traveler willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? Or was this fate? Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. I mean, I apologize if you all could hear me messing with my mic when I just muted it for that cutscene. Okay. Movement. Left click or use the joystick on your gamepad to move. You can hold down the left mouse button to continue running. Okay, so I can still use feel the, the restless spirits of my family. The Temple of Eterra will have my answers. Oh man, I already like this game a lot. It just feels good. Oh, whoops. Sorry, wolf. I didn't know I could summon a wolf. I didn't even say that was one of my powers. How cool is that? I'm gonna have a blast of this class. How long do summons last? Can I eat that? Nope. Kill the bunny. I was thinking, you know, barbecued bunny or something. Feed it to my wolf. Primal wolf. Health potions. You are taking damage. Use, use health potions to restore your health. Health potions are found frequently and can be bought from vendors. you can zoom in close. Look at these graphics. I am impressed. Primal Wolf looks really cool. The Druid, the, or what am I, uh, <laughs> not Beastmaster, isn't it? No. Druid to be, we'll call him. He looks cool, though. 
inspect the fallen messenger fallen messenger's letter in the hands of a fallen messenger you find a letter from the keeper's council it is addressed to you traveler our Heliborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks raya's war has reached our lands and we are in need of aid as keepers we avoid conflict we're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. The fallen messenger lays still. You need to reach the keepers. back here nope whoa armored phoenix is there a block button Level up. Hide boots. Oh. Hmm. All right. Now. Five percent increased movement speed. Six percent increased movement speed. Plus five armor. Very cool. Oh, cool. There we go. I'm a primalist. Level 2. Health regen. Okay, so I do regen health. I thought so. Armor is only 70% as effective against non physical damage, mitigating 6% of damage. Reduces damage taken from all hits, but not damage over time. Armor is only. I'm getting 6% of damage. Okay. Each point of attunement grants 2 mana and improves skills that rely on the innate magic inside you and your surroundings. Strength. Each point of strength increases armor by 4% and improves skills that rely the raw strength of you and your companions, it should say, or that rely on the raw strength of you and your companions. Funny. Swapping skills. You can swap skills on your action bar by left clicking on them and using the fly out menu to change to any skill you have unlocked. Oh shoot! Gathering storm. Strike at your enemy with a mighty lightning powered storm. When you use gathering storm and hit at least one enemy, you gain a storm stack. Every second you expend a storm stack to cause a storm bolt. You, to strike a nearby enemy. This interval is reduced by 2% for every stack you currently have. Okay, so I need to hold this down, I'm assuming. Not just hit it. Okay. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Oh. 
Ohoho. He's trying. What is this? Burning corpses. The bodies are burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing. Oh, that's brutal. I'm a fan of how close you can zoom in. I really like that. Three dodge rating, 32 armor. Awesome. And the armor changes on your character. And that is not, not a given. You would think it almost would be these days, but it's not. Yeah, level three. Huh. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what. When you arrived, was there a family? Grail. I didn't. It was my mistake. They were cornered, and there were so many. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back, to let me handle it. And they left. What good are we if we can't? <sighs> Sorry, I just met you, and it's been a long road. Like, I selected. It's war if we can't save everybody, but... Are you also here for the peace talks? Are you? I am. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? Sounds good to me. I wonder, which of us will take down more Ospricks? That would be me. Come, let me watch you fight. I think I just saved you. Come, let me watch you fight. What, are you just gonna watch and not, not join in? Fight through the burning forest. Oh yeah. That just sounds awesome. Smoke! Oh, I can't pick it up and carry it. That's too bad. So much destruction. And for what? Level four. Summon Thorn Totem. Sweet. Very elite.
Whoa. Noise. To fight. Whoa, you can really far. Reaches town. Oh, shoot. Oh, get away from that attack. Well done. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. Plus 10 melee damage, base attack rate 1.12, 1.05, 11, 1.06, plus 20 melee damage. Oh, definitely the bastard sword. Oh, it's two handed. Cool. to explore. This doesn't seem like a game so far with a bunch of out of the way hidden stuff. The keepers have proven difficult to track. But my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. There's a pattern to how they scurry. I instructed my soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably they're near shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last. Save for meager signs of the Keeper's presence. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Raya wills it. But it doesn't seem like you have to go and search every corner or make sure you look in you know, all like the different places. Make sure you don't miss any items. Quest completed, plus 40 gold, plus 20 experience. Nice. Another person, cool. Oh, look at that thing. Here, Ots offered protection more than protection, an alliance. 
But the truth is, we know little about him or his people. Why should the council trust him? Prospect one, he's one of the gods. Atera made him just as she made us keepers and gave him a role by her side. He's the guardian of his people and he does his job well. Prospect two, he cares for his people. Like the goddess herself, he extends his heart to all who need support. He forms alliances, wanting to stand united. Meanwhile, Raya wishes to tear this world asunder. Prospect three. His people are warriors. Hair Borean fighters put us to shame. We fight because it is necessary while they relish in it. I'll take on being behind their blade any day. Thus, I propose we accept this alliance. It is not in our nature, but we keepers have a sacred duty to uphold. Without Herot's help, our efforts might prove fruitless. Sounds like they're leaders waiting up at the shrine. The Keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. Who are the Keepers, exactly? The group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. They've been indebted to her. But why, we do not know. Even their names... Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god, or just her? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Whatever secrets the Keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. So what's next? Now, we speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. See you soon. Welcome, I can undo a past action of yours for a price. Oh, cool. Respecialized mastery point allocations. Very cool. Do not dwell on regret. Ooh, a chest. A treasure chest. Oh, nice. my original gear. Oh, sash. Plus three potion slots. Plus two potion slots. Same exact boots. Twenty-three forging potential. Oh yeah, this one's better because it has the health regen, so they're not the same. Brought some goods from the homeland. Interested in taking a look. Let's see what you have. Short spear of hunger. Ooh, five health on melee hit. I'm gonna hang on to my money though. I have a really powerful sword. I like it. Oh, I like that axe. Hmm. 
Whoops. Oh, what? Oh no! How did I just sell the wrong ones? Wait, 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 wait. Where did my regen boots just go? I did not mean. <laughs> Whoops. How did I accidentally... Oh, I right, right click auto, there we, that's exactly why, and how, okay, shift, there we go. I like that, eight armor, six physical resistance, and they only cost six, seven percent increased damage over time, eight armor. Let's go with the hide gloves of reflection. I like the physical resistance. Trying to see what that guy looked like over Impossible. there, or who he was. Oh, cool! Another stash I, uh, location. I like that. Hmm. Keeper Lena is just up ahead. She's busy speaking with the Heoborian ambassador about the peace talks. What are these peace talks? The keepers are in need of aid. We're not strong enough to fight off Raye's forces. The Heoborians have offered an alliance. We need their help, but we do not want to be swept up in a war that is not our own. It's likely too late for that now. It's not a matter of whether you would risk war, but open war is upon you. I'll speak with them. Thank Itera. Sorry, we're under orders not to let anyone in or out. Ospreys have been sighted in the highlands. Very well. That's it. Sounds like this is where we part ways. Good luck out there. I had a few yes. questions. Something you need? So you. I don't work right. for him. I'm his champion. Why? Champion? What does that mean? It means I've fought hard and climbed my way to the top. Hirat himself taught me everything I know. As such, I dedicate myself to him, an extension of his will. You certainly seem like a hero. But why? Because he saved me. When I lacked purpose, he was there. Okay. He made me what I am. And what's that? The person who's going to end this war. Take Raye down, and make him rue the day he dared mess with us. Let's move on. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of two. There should be more of us here. What happened? They're gone. Balthus and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. Ask away. Bothus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. Hmm. 
Baltus is busy checking on our sacred artifact. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now they're in danger. What can you tell me about this artifact? Not much, I'm afraid. We'll discuss it after our alliance. But I'm doing you a favor. You are, and I'm sorry, but this is how it must be. Their secrecy keeps them safe. Even now, the Ospreks swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north, where Balthus is. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Can't his guards help him? They can, but Baltus is impulsive. I worry he'll do something stupid. You don't trust him. Sure I do. With your help. Do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Borea's army. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of two. There should be more of us here. Seems something happened. Yes, Balthus and I remain, and he Balthus is busy checking on oh, our okay, sacred artifacts. Same. Not much, I'm afraid. We'll about discuss this artifact. it after our alliance. I'm doing you, you a are, favor. and I'm sorry, but even now, the could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a Drake patrolling the skies. Can't his guards help him? Can do. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Can't do, do this, and our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Borea's army. Sounds like I have work to do. Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. Enter the fortress gardens. Okay. I was only running back and forth like that to simply see if there is potentially anything along the sides of the map, but there is not. Bastard sword is powerful. I guess I shouldn't really be saying that word. I don't know how YouTube will take that. I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's in the game. I can't. We should all be adults playing this game. Whoa, Will Hog. <laughs> Man, are these monsters cool. And this is just the beginning. I can't even wait to see this. Where this goes. What kind of monsters? Yeah. 
Oh, now I see the lightning bolts. Whoops. Avian helm. Whoa! 17% increased stun chance, 22 armor. 9 health, 8% increased minion health. 8 health. Eight, oh, this is definitely better. By one. I shouldn't say definitely, but it's better for sure. Sacred bloom, huh? Mighty high gloves of deflection. Oh yeah. Some tender spear. Oh, and we gotta change some of our gear. Oh yeah. Six increase, six percent increased health regen, plus one intelligence, plus five armor, plus seven percent increased movement speed. Yeah. Plus one strength, plus eight percent physical resistance. Oh yeah. Eighteen melee damage three plus three percent melee critical strike chance five percent increased movement speed plus twenty five percent poison resistance one hundred twelve percent increased stun chance thirty eight percent excuse me increased chance to shock on hit we'll keep that over there minus three spell mana cost plus three spell damage. 14% increased cold damage, 16% increased spell damage. Sorry if you guys could hear that. My iWatch decided to, or Siri on my iWatch decided to look something up for me. I guess I triggered it with something I said. Oh. button. 
But I guess not really because it ended up summoning the totem over there. not know they could burrow. I guess I don't even need to bother summoning those totems. Oh. So they shoot out a bunch of little thorns, just like it says. Oh. And so there's just something really satisfying right now, at least. I mean, I know it's the beginning honeymoon stage, but there's something very satisfying about this combat. Ooh. Plus 100% critical hit damage, maybe? Or chance? Chance. Wow. Maybe. I've actually paid it. Yeah. Oh. I haven't even had to use knock on wood. I haven't had to use a health person yet. Whoa. Oh, well, I just picked that one up and used it immediately. Good to know your character will do that. Just want to explore everywhere. Get all the XP I can have. I'm assuming by playing online you can team up with people. So anyone who watches this and is interested in uh, playing some co-op on this, obviously you'll be part of the Let's Play, and 
uh, you know, just leave a comment and I will send you a message and on Steam, well, I'll reply on YouTube and then we'll take it from there and I'll message you on Steam and we'll do it that way. I need to check what my new skills are. Skill system introduction. Viewing augment trees. Click on a skill. Use a new skill. Click on an action bar slot to access the skill selection panel. Specializing in skills. You can specialize in up to five skills by clicking an unlocked specialization slot located above which unlock as you level up. Specializing in a skill will allow you to gain skill points for that skill by earning experience, which you can use to empower and augment it. Note, some skills do not have an augment tree available. I'm guessing your standard attack is one of those. Alright, let's see here. Primalists. Tempest Strike. Okay. Sunders the ground in a line in front of you, dealing damage to enemies along the path. That's 135% added damage effectiveness. I already read about the Maelstorm. Tempest strike a melee combo that attack that cycles through a cold strike, a physical strike, and a lightning strike that trigger elemental tempest spells of the same damage type if the strikes hit at least one enemy. Cold strike triggers a frigid tempest, which is a cold projectile that pierces through enemies. Physical strike triggers a wind tempest, which is a small twister that lasts a short duration dealing physical damage per over time. Lightning Strike triggers a Thunder Tempest, which is an expanding storm of lightning bolts. Hmm. Unlocked by spending points in the Primalist Passive Tree. Unlocked by spending points in the Beastmaster Passive Tree. Unlocked by spending points in the Shaman Passive Tree. Unlocked by spending points in the Druid Passive Tree. I definitely think I'm gonna go Druid this playthrough. Although, Beastmaster is pretty cool. Summoning a Raptor would be awesome. Call forth a wave of roots, entangling roots. Call forth a wave of roots that grows outwards in a wide cone in front of you. The wave deals physical damage and roots enemies it hits for one and a half seconds. Rooted enemies take physical damage over time until they are freed. Hmm. Okay, so do I... I'm guessing... Okay, I click on that, and it tells me... what I can do here okay where's the druid is this so these are the that would be the primalist passive tree this would be the druid passive tree I guess excuse me okay and those are how many points are needed excuse me I'm guessing you have to finish primalist kind of max that out before you can master something. Gains one spell damage per point 
Increases 4% per point on the 12% increased melee damage. This is already super strong. Oh, wow. Gain 6 health, 6 per point. 4% increased damage, 4% per point. Gains 36 health, 6 per level. Okay, attunement scaling. There you go. That's what that means. Okay. Twelve percent increased damage. Four percent per point. Added damage is applied at one hundred percent effectiveness. Wow. Okay, this is really neat. Um. Can I add one to Gathering Storm? Whoa! Remove skill points. Remove skill spent points of your choosing in this skill tree. Each point removed will reduce the skills level by one, if above your minimum skill level. Level up the skills as normal to spend these points again. Despecialized skill. Despecializing will remove all skill points and experience from the skill and allow you to specialize in another skill in its place. The new skill will start at your minimum skill level. Huh. Well, this is definitely something I want to get stronger, I guess, and I can change it out later on. But I, I think right now this is the one to specialize in because I can use it the most, and it's pretty much my attack. I, I do use the regular standard attack a little bit, but this is... Okay, that's really good to know, though. Okay, so... Whenever you expand a storm stack... Expend a storm stack, you have a chance to cast storm bolt at an additional enemy. Storm bolt, call forth a bolt of lightning to strike the area. When fury blows, gathering storm has increased attack speed. Mana fused storm, whenever you directly use gathering storm, you gain mana per active storm stack up to a maximum. Hmm. The typhoon. Wow. You have an increased global stun chance and additional freeze rate multiplier per active storm stack up to a maximum. Two-eyed storm, when you expend a storm stack while dual wielding, you now cast storm bolts at two enemies instead of one. That's awesome. Storm bolts now consume a portion of your current mana to deal more damage. Multiplicative with other modifiers per ten mana. Looming clouds, whenever you expend... Okay. Lightning strikes twice. Whenever you hit a boss or rare enemy with a storm bolt, you have a chance to cast again at the same enemy after 0.25 seconds. Concentrated storm. Gathering storm deals more damage, multiplicative with other modifiers, and you expend storm stacks more frequently, but storm bolts target enemies within a smaller area. In the eye of the storm, whenever you expend a storm stack, you have a chance to cast Maelstorm. Whoa! Rending Vortex. Gathering Storm has improved base critical strike chance per stri stack of Maelstorm on you from any source. A storm gathers. Whenever you expend a storm stack, you have a chance to gain a stack instead of losing one. That's pretty cool. Lightning Gale. Whenever you expend a storm stack, you have a chance to gain haste. Whirlwind Tactics. Whenever you use a companion ability, you expend storm stacks over the next 0.3 seconds. Storm bolts triggered this way deal more damage. Multiplicative with other modifiers. Expend storm stacks on companion use one per point. Does not scale with points allocated. Storm bolt damage plus 15%. Cause on the horizon, storm bolts target enemies from farther away. Lagonian Diplomacy. 
while wielding a staff, the melee attack of Gathering Storm is replaced by a direct range cast of Stormbolt, but Gathering Storm costs additional mana. If you have from 1 to 15 storm stacks, your minion's lightning skill hits have a chance to grant you a storm stack. Hmm. Do I have to? No, I can start anywhere here. What is this? Earth Smasher. Gathering storms and storm bolts base lightning damage is converted to physical. Con and converted to physical. Consequently, this damage scales with increases to physical damage, but not increases to lightning damage. Shock chance on hit from all sources and con is converted to armor shred chance for gathering storm. Shock chance on hit from all sources is converted to armor shred chance for gathering storm. That's pretty cool. There really isn't anything that's bad about any of these. Some are definitely better than others, but none of them are bad. From what I've read, that's pretty cool. Island Cleaver. Gathering Storm's melee attack deals damage in a larger area and if you and you have a chance to gain an additional storm stack if you hit at least three enemies with the same melee attack, which I do do all the time already. Oops. Melee area plus 12% per point. Additional storm stack chance 25% per point. Whoa. Frostbringer, Gathering Storms and Storm Bolts, base lightning damage is converted to cold. Consequently, this damage scales with increases to cold damage, but not increases to lightning damage. Shock Chance on a hit from all sources is converted to Frostbite Chance for Gathering Storm. Swaps Gathering Storm's lightning tag for a cold tag, so it makes it a cold attack. Okay, okay. And this makes it Earth, Physical, Seismic Crash, Melee Damage for sure. Gathering Storm deals additional melee damage per strength while wielding a two-handed weapon. Tempest, Tempest Weapon Gathering Storm deals additional spell damage per three melee damage on your equipped axe or mace. Oh, wow. Of Ice and Snow, Gathering Storm's hits have a chance to chill enemies and a higher chance to freeze enemies. Oh, wow. Winter comes. Gathering Storm has a higher chance to freeze enemies per two attunement, and it also has additional cold penetration for frostbite per two attunement. Wings of Lightning. Whenever you use Gathering Storms and hit at least one enemy, you gain a stack of Wings of Lightning. Each time one of your Storm Crows attack, they consume a stack of Wings of Lightning, causing their basic attack to chain two additional times. Oh, wow. Energized by the skies, Gathering Storm's hits have a chance to consume mana to grant you additional storm stacks. The Typhoon, you have addition, you have increased global stun chance and additional freeze rate multiplier per active storm stack up to a maximum. Mana Fuse Storm, whenever you directly use Gathering Storm, you gain mana per active storm stack up to a maximum. Wind Fury blows. Gathering Storm has an increased attack speed, plus 5% per point, so it goes up to 15%. I'm thinking Jolting Strikes. Storm Bolt's hits have a chance to shock enemies. Gathering Storm deals more melee damage, multiplicative with other modifiers, to shocked enemies. Storm Bolt's shock chance, plus 25% per point, meaning this can be plus... If it stays at plus 25% per point, and it doesn't, I have no reason to believe it doesn't, that means it'll eventually be 100% chance for Stormbolt's shock chance. It'll be plus 100%. And then melee damage to shocked would be plus 40% per point at max. I'm thinking this, and then that, because that can be up to 32%. 
this is definitely awesome and then these are really important this is important I like that because that has to do with boss fighting of course being able to target them further away This one, you know, having it affect Maelstorm, I I'm probably going to have Maelstorm as a focus at some point. Maybe. We'll see. I, this is a... I am so pleased with this game. I would highly recommend this so far. We're only an hour or so in, but so far it's very promising. Oops. S does that. F does that. Oh, the Forge. What is... That's what the forging stuff means. 22, 17% increased. 22, 30%, 32% increased stun chance. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh wow, and then runes. Oh, how cool is this? Targe of the Defender. Plus 16% block chance. Plus 102 block effectiveness. Plus 10% elemental resistance. 4% reduced damage taken on block. Great mace, two-handed mace, base attack point nine. Okay, so the lower the number, the slower the attack. Plus twenty-four melee damage. I just want to see what it looks like. Whoa. Two-handed spear. Point ninety-eight. Could use a scepter probably five plus five melee physical with 39% increased critical strike. Hmm. Whoops. Uh. Alright, the rest of this can all be sold, I believe. Five, seven. Yep. It's just, uh. Keep these handy over here. Three, three. here my fiance just got home all right and that does it for this area
I apologize if you can hear the dog squeaker in the background. My puppies are quite excited that their mommy is home. Oh, the way they were standing, you would have thought they were uh, allies. These solar invaders look so cool. Hmm. I'm definitely not as powerful. I'm going back to the bastard sword. Definitely going back to the bastard sword. Thank you, Wolf. Oh, there's a Tarj. I didn't mean to drop my Tarj. Oh, ho, ho. get some. guys take a beating. Oh no! Oh no! Whew! Boy oh boy! Oh, I see you up there. Nice try. Thank goodness for the wolf. Definitely soaking up a lot of the damage for me that I otherwise would have to take. Suriak's the burning sky. He must be a boss. And then here I am not using my special attack. I gotta run away. Or I'm gonna die. Oh no! You have been slain by a meteorite from Sturiax. Killing blow damage type fire. This is not how your story ends, Traveler. Return to the place of your failure to regain hope and continue on. Absolutely. We don't give up. We pick ourselves up and try again. Sturiax is going down. Time to meet your doom. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean to... Shoot, that's why I couldn't summon it. So it just takes one little click, even accidentally, okay. My apologies. Oh my gosh, did he destroy me or what? I can't believe how much damage he does. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, shoot. What's going on? Did I accidentally teleport again? I couldn't hit anyone.
Yes. Yes. Finally. Holy moly. Wow, all of a sudden this game got way more, much more difficult. I don't know if you all just saw that, but that one body that fell off the bridge just stayed floating right next to the bridge as if there were just an invisible extension to the side of the bridge. But hey, that's the first, like, minor glitch, error, unpolished piece of the game that I've really noticed stand out. This game is phenomenal so far. I couldn't be more pleased. It's a breath of fresh air in an era where games come out half-baked all the time. They release games and they say, oh, we'll be releasing, a, a, you know, a hundred dollars worth of DLC within the first year. That's a half-baked game. All right. Oh, hide armor. Oh, my oak armor is better. When did I get that? Five six three one six oh five seven one six five six one eight ooh no one's casting lightning right now though and I'd rather have the strength and physical resistance as I'm taking a lot of physical damage.
Um, oops. Oh, perfect. There we go. I'm not a fan of these inventory systems, but that's just par for this kind of game. Par for the course. Whoa, 16%, 102%, 10%, 4% reduced damage taken on block. Okay. Idols. I mean, this is very neat. Oh, there's more. Whoopsie. No room. No room. Four percent increased movement speed. Plus 12 dodge rating. Shattering Great Mace of Stillness. Plus 24 melee damage. It's a two handed weapon. Base attack rate 0. 0.9. Plus 10 melee cold damage. 56% increased stun chance. Uh. Whoops. All right. I should probably return back so I can drop off a bunch of this equipment. What does this do? Now that I've cleared the area, what is this? Oh, I wonder if I have to off to fight uh, Sturiox, Sturiox again. Either way, I need to drop this equipment. All right, to move to stash, great mace. I will keep the traveling staff. I'll keep the ring. When I get back, I'm selling like all of this. We'll, we'll sell it all and see if we can't get some new equipment. Whoa, plus eight armor, plus eight mana, 18% increased critical strike chance, plus 8% physical resistance, plus 19 health. Mana fused hide gloves of life. 
That's what I'm talking about. Bloom Tender's short spear. Well, hang on now. That takes up a lot of room for a weapon that I probably won't use. I know that the Serpent Strike needs a spear, but... Oops. After reading or watching that review, it's not necessarily the best weapon. And I don't think I'll waste the time leveling it up. As of right now, I'm totally okay with the other weapons, but of course we're quite early in. Marauder's Gla Gladius. Plus 9 melee physical damage. Plus 10 melee damage. That's pretty strong. With a point 1.12 attack. It's, that's considered fast. Awesome. 16% block chance on both of these. 120 per, 127 block effectiveness and this one has plus 102 block effectiveness plus 9% elemental resistance plus 10% elemental resistance and then this one also has 4% reduced damage taken on block <clears throat> excuse me let's rock that move that to the stash stash club of stone 0.98 attack rate plus 13 melee damage 69% increased stun chance with melee attacks nah. Nice. Five, seven, one intelligence, six percent increased health regen. We'll keep those gloves too. All right. There. Now. Impossible. That's considered level 4, huh? I need to see what level 10 is at this point. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no, this is my W attack. I guess he blocks automatically. Oh, okay. Tab is a little overlay. Nice, nice. Pyromancer's Axe of Stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just brought that portal up on my own. I don't know how I did that. I think I actually hit. Oh, G does it. Okay. Twenty-six percent increased fire damage. One hundred percent, one hundred seven percent increased stun chance with melee attacks. Twenty-three. Hmm. I definitely want to try that out, but it's solid for now. What I'm, what I'm using is solid for now. The oak helm. It'll match my armor, but it's worse than the helmet I'm currently wearing. I just want to see. 
Oh, that does look pretty neat. But. Protection is king. Oop, I can't even go on that one. That attack is so awesome. go floating on air that's too bad it would look so cool if they actually fell off but that is no, by no means a deal breaker this game is just i'd imagine this is a lot like the experience of titan quest a very similar game that really set the stage for games like this and their future successes. There's Thuriax. There's the little booga. Yep, my guy has already gotten more powerful. We barely lost him there. Oh yeah, we are much more powerful. Take that. Assassin's Bastard Sword of Stone. I love how they keep dropping good equipment too. It's not just like, hey, you beat this boss once, here's worthless equipment. But Titan Quest I would love to have on this channel as well as a Let's Play because I've only played that opening tutorial stage. And it's very enjoyable. Everything I've read about it is just a must play for people that enjoy these kinds of games. <sighs> There's too many of them. Are you alright? Over there. They've invaded some old storage. They're building something there. I'll look into it. Be all right. Bless. Stay safe. New. Find the storm room. Store rooms. I mean, they don't even hide stuff in those barrels, really. I think one of them had coins in it just now, and that's it so far. Oh, nice. They don't disappear. The weapons in here. Good to know. Okay, the storerooms are down yonder. There's some gold. Okay, so you have to tap. Once you get there, you have to tap on them, you know, just run into it. Shattering Forestry Axe. Twenty-six percent increased fire damage. One hundred seven percent increased stun chance with melee attacks.
a dark hatchet. Melee void damage, I wonder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get some. Oh, man. Get wrecked. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, I can wait it a little longer, but... did he rock them? I didn't even come close. Let's give this another go. There we go. Got him this time. Vital hide armor of sparks. No room. No room. 20 armor plus 3 vitalities plus 17% lightning resistance. Now, I haven't been encountering lightning, but that could all change very quickly. Adds plus X health. Augments an item to grant it a new property or improve an existing one. Press F to open crafting panel. Oh, cool. This is plus 14 dodge with 7 health.
I don't want to have to head back, but I... You know what? I'm just going to drop. This, gla this Gladius. There we go. And look at that. I can carry the Gladius still. We didn't have to get rid of anything. What do we have here? Sabotage Siege Golem. Okay. Return to heal Glorian soldier. I will once I clear this whole area. that little oh it was tab alright I cleared the whole map the whole board as we used to call it keep getting that money talk to this soldier we'll head back to the village store our gear and then call it as that's a perfect place to end it as we are ready to go into the uh, keeper vault or I guess we did complete the fortress wall as part of this mission that whole or no we still have to do the fortress wall part we got on the side mission go to the storeroom. So used to games where you use the WASD keys to move. I keep doing these. I keep hitting W and attacking erroneously. Uh -huh. I saw you head toward the storage. Are they gone? They're gone. I should thank. Go back to camp. Nice. Passive point plus 30 experience. Excellent. Oak armor of evasion. Ooh. That is what should be equipped. That's worth eight gold. I definitely need to get that. Um, and it takes up that much room. We have 
two of these. Well, I think it makes the most sense to drop the Bastard Sword because I have a new and improved Assassin's Bastard Sword of Stone. Which has 48% increased critical strikes, 16 increased me melee damage, and 86% increased stun chance of melee attacks. Yeah, definitely have to fix the storage. Alright. Wipe these guys out. Back to the town. No room. No room. Oh, how very interesting. Two bastard swords, okay. Oh, I'm right at the keeper vault, but... We will return. And how is T now the button that... I thought it was G out the portal. Oh well. Well, I hope everyone in has enjoyed the first part of our last Epoch playthrough. Oh, did I accidentally? Yep, I sure did. Go back to the forest gar fortress gardens. And I hope to keep, keep, catch you all next time, Legionaries. We'll drop this off, like so. We need to sell a bunch of stuff when uh, we resume this playthrough. Next episode, that's how we'll start. We'll sell a bunch of our gear that we're never going to use. Oh, wow, do they not do a good job of auto organizing? All right, Legionaries. Until next time, keep your blades sharp and your wits frosty.